Yo, 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 what's up there? It's Nick here with Living Rich, and I am here today doing a little uh, soaking my scalp with some borax and baking soda and salt um, just to keep it clean from, you know, because it's like the last kind of place that uh, psoriasis was able to, you know, kind of hang out on my body. And um, anyways, today, what I wanted to talk to you about uh, is self-help and why it's th the best thing and the hardest thing to sell in the universe. And here's, here's what I wanted to talk about. And here's why those two things are true. Um, first, I'll start why it's the best thing. Uh, it's very simple and it's that's the biggest place where you could have an impact on your life or like in the world really is on your life like you can have the biggest impact in your personal surroundings in your personal habits in your personal you know world because you are the king there and that's where your impact is and that's what's fun you want to have an impact on the world and it, really you can't have an impact on anything else till you impact those core fundamental values and if you are having an impact on the other world the rest of the world it is directly a result and qualitative connection to how you're living your personal life so maybe you naturally live a really great life and you have a, naturally have a really great impact on the world or you understand something instinctually and you instinctually give the world great stuff like some actors do this, some, you know, people, business people just like instinctively know, you know, how to do it and how to live, but not everybody does. And that's okay. And, um, changing those core habits and tendencies and thought processes and paradigms is uh, what's going to have the biggest effect on yourself and conversely the rest of the world. But it's also the hardest thing to sell because it requires a change of fundamental beliefs and paradigms that we believe to be ourselves. We identify with them, we defend them, we pro, you know defend, protect, um, and we really hold them very dear within ourselves and within our social rings. And our life is really, an ex our, our external life and world is really an extension of these things. So the external world holds these beliefs in place. Um, and to loop it back around personally, what I found, I kind of did this consciously and semi-consciously when I first kind of started out down this path of, you know, personal development was I started either creating situations where there would be no expectations of me or deliberately creating situations where there were positive expectations of me. Um, and, or at least where positive things and traits and habits could grow. So for example, you know, if one of the habits was drinking with my friends, um, when I would go to a new city and break ties with all my old friends, I would have a chance to recreate myself and then create my social situation as a situation to where I was not a habitual drinker, drinker and people did not expect that of me. And in doing that, in creating that habitual social training for the people around me, I was then able to grow that habit and I think that's where a lot of people get hung up is the fact that they can't control what their friends think and they're afraid of what their friends think and they're afraid of being left out of the social situation and having their needs not met that way and that's a big thing and a lot of times it requires just breaking all ties and building fresh from a new which people do not want to do but 
in reality, if you want to change, you're going to have to change the people and the situations around you, maybe change careers and do all that. And it's very heavy lifting. But at least if you realize that's what it's going to take, you can start from the beginning, start from the base fundamental ground level, and then build your way up when you finally do decide to change instead of deciding to change and not knowing what you need to do. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight onto why it is the best, the most fundamental thing you can do and also the hardest thing that you can sell. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, you can even catch my blog posts on thebicycledaily.com. And once again, this is Nick. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you again later.